All right, we're back on this 500 G wagon. And remember, we had 300 grams in this system before when it should have 1,050 grams. And now, compared to the first video when I was running this with 300 grams, what the superheat used to be, and compare it to now. Compare the temperature of the suction line off the evaporator, where it's connected on the metal line coming right out of the evaporator. Compare the subcooling compared to what it was before when it was low on refrigerant. And now you can hear the high side fan kicking on, which it would never do before. You have a clear sight glass. And you can see bubbles. It's 100% full with bubbles. Now some guys would say, oh my god, you have bubbles. That means it's low on refrigerant. But no, this is 100% full. This is why you don't trust bubbles in a side glass. Okay? Do not listen to guys who say use a side glass. Or some old factory manual, or even new factory manual that recommends the bubble method. The bubble method might get you close in some situations, but it's not perfect. Okay, that's it on this uh, 500 2003 G Wagon. Um, could not locate the leak on this one, but it's uh, ready to go. And oh, what was the temperature? Oh, I don't have my iPad with me, so uh, it's 40 some degrees out the dash. All right, good to go. See you guys.